The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their mother, brother, Lazarus, who had died. And when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet, she went to meet him. But Martha sat at home. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Gospel of the Lord. One could say a lot about Martha and Mary and Lazarus, but I'm not going to. I'm simply going to concentrate on one point in the depiction of Martha here at the occasion of the raising of Lazarus. Um, Jesus delayed when he heard about Lazarus being sick delayed until he died. And then he came and, uh, what was it? three days later, uh, after he was buried, he arrives, and Martha, the practical one, goes out to meet him and says, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus uses that occasion to lead her more deeply in faith. And the words that, that, Mar that Martha responds with, I think, are very telling and very important for us. Because she, the bottom line is, she says, yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Now, the interesting point there is, very often in John's Gospel, John speaks of people coming to believe, not believing or disbelieving. The other Gospels tend to talk about faith in terms of faith and disbelief. John is very careful in his Gospel to emphasize that faith is a matter of a process, not simply you got it or you don't got it. Faith is coming to believe. Coming to believe through the union of experience and attentiveness, reflection, and prayer. Being attentive to the words and the deeds of Jesus, reflecting on them, reflecting on them within one's own self and one's own needs and one's own desires. And then all of that becomes a process of greater and greater openness to the gift of God, greater and greater openness to the work of the Holy Spirit, coming to faith. So for us, Martha is one of the many models presented to us that the book isn't closed yet. The chapter on our faith is not finished yet. 
but rather continues to be in a process. And here we see a stage in which Martha's faith is tested because of the death of Lazarus. And yet, she says, I have come to believe that you are Christ, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Ultimately, faith means saying whatever to the will of God. Faith means putting one's trust in the will of God over and above my own will. And that's what Martha was able to do here. No matter how she saw things, no matter how bleak things seemed to be in the death of Lazarus, I have faith in you. I am coming to believe that you are the Son of God, that you are the Messiah, the one coming into the world. And so in our darkness, in our doubts, in our hesitancy, in our imperfections of faith, we need to take heart that, as that saying goes on bumper stickers, be patient, God's not finished with me yet. And we need to be gentle in telling ourselves that, but steadfast, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus and saying, Lord, help me to come to believe.